Hey guys, it's Adam here, your Northern Tech, and today we're going to show you how to do the effect that the, they use for the annoying orange. Basically, I couldn't find an orange, so I ended up using an apple. Same concept, so let's do this. Okay, so the first thing you're going to need to pull this off is obviously stock footage. So I got a video here of me talking to the camera. Now when you shoot this video, you gotta be very careful and keep your face perfectly still, otherwise you're gonna run into problems. And you also need a picture of the item you're gonna make talk. I find it's easier to use a picture and it looks a little better, but if you wanna use video footage of it, you can do it too, it just, it's gonna take a lot more work. All right, let's get this stuff loaded up here. So first we'll drag in our footage. So there we see my face. Don't you just love my allergy attacked eyeball? Isn't that great? All right, well, I'm going to take it from here because I don't need the first half. What we're going to do is drag in our Apple footage on top of it and stretch it out to match the footage. Now, you notice the Apple overlays my face up here in the preview window. But what I normally do is, is I bring this bar down, make it semi-transparent, and then go down here to my face, click on the pan, crop, zoom it out as much as possible with the mouse wheel, and then pull it back until I got my face pretty well in the target that I want to give a mouth and eyes to. Alright, once you have that, the next step is masking. Down here under position, you have position and mask. If you click on mask, put the check mark into it. Make sure you're at the beginning marker here. You're going to go up here to where it says anchor creation tool, click it, and then you're going to need to draw around your eyes and your mouth. So I'm just going to do this really quick not being very careful. See, over here now it shows the apple and an eyeball. Well, we'll do the other eyeball. Oh, freaked out. Put a point in there. And there we go. And now we'll draw around the mouth. Probably should have shaved before doing this because I've never seen a, mu a mustache on an apple before. But whatever. Okay, so now you can tell the apple has two eyes and a mouth. Now, you're going to want to go to your pointer here. Now if you need to make any adjustments, any of the points, anchors you put in, you click on this here pointer up here, click on the anchor tool that you want to move, and you just drag it out to give it a little bit more of the area. Now, see how it kind of looks all blocky? Well, you can add more of these anchor points to really make it look round. But what I normally do is go to feather type, set it to in, and then set this to about three. And you see it kind of fades in a little bit better. You can even go a little higher, like four, which will fade it in a little bit more. And do that with all of yours. In, and the mouth. And there we go. We have the eyes and the mouth. Now you're thinking, Adam, this doesn't look right. Your eyes and your mouth are still skin colored. What's going on? Okay, this is where we got to get even more creative. First off, we'll crank the transparency off on the apple. The next thing we're going to need to do is swap the apple with the face picture by clicking here on this here portion. Click on the blue and drag it down. See that black bar? Boom. Now the apple is, well now the face is layered above the apple. Okay. Now I just realized something here. I'm going to have to go and correct this real quick. I just want to clean it up so it actually looks a little good, but not really. Okay, I'll go ahead and close that. Now, the skin color on the apple, some people might say, ah, that's fine, good enough for me. For me, it's not. So what we're going to do is click on the event effects for the face shot that you did, and then you're going to go over here into Sony Color Corrector Secondary. The reason why I say secondary is because this one here has hue and saturation, and you can actually adjust it on the color wheel. Whoa, Jesus. Which one did I frig up on now? Okay, I screwed up somewhere. Oh no. Yes, I screwed up somewhere. Whoops. Oh no. Okay, never mind. Alright, there we go. So you can adjust the hue to try and get it to a red level. If you can find it. Which I'm having a hell of a time finding it. I'm not sure why this affects the whole video. So basically you play with your color corrector until you find a color that's pretty damn close. Oops. That wasn't what I wanted. That's definitely not what I wanted. Okay. 
break six. You know what, we'll just leave it there because um, having some real issues getting this to blend. Let's get rid of that color corrector and let's try a different one here. We're going to stick with the stock stuff because not everybody has all the BCC add-ons. Okay, let's try with the color balance and see if maybe we can get it. Now, what if we take away... Yeah, that looks pretty good right there. Just drop some of the green, a little bit more blue. You know what? That looks pretty damn close. We're going to leave it right there. Perfect. And what you end up with is something like this. Alright guys, this is the annoying apple because I couldn't find an orange. So, this is the effect. Hopefully you like it. So, that there's basically how I do the effect. Put eyes and mouth on an inanimate object. Now if you want to change the voice, obviously, you know, I showed this one in another video with the pitch shift. You can go in here and already have a preset for Felix. So now we can make Felix into an apple. Alright guys, this is the annoying apple because I couldn't find an orange. So, this is the effect. Hopefully you like it. And if you wanted to make it uh, have a little bit of a reverb, you know, there's all sorts of different audio things you can do. But that's basically how I do the annoying orange effect. If you have any questions on this, by all means guys, leave them in the comment section below. Let me know and uh, I'll try my best to answer them. So until next time guys, take care.